<laughs> so, may mga shooting terms kami, like, uh, Pepe, labas. Pepe. Hindi, <laughs> uh, hmm. Gusto ko yung term ni Direk Richard na 3-in-1. Gamitin ko yung Direk, ah. 3-in-1. Ganda na, eh. Uh, sabi ni Direk sa amin, ano kayo dito, ah? Mga 3-in-1 kayo. Tapos tinanong namin ko na 3-in-1. Sabi niya, kape. Basta kami nang bahalang mag-analyze. Ang brief na sinabi niya lang sa amin ay pwede kang masama, pwede kang maging masama, pwede kang mabuti. Yung pangatlo, ikaw nang bahala doon. Di ba ang sarap ng bilang actor, you get to uh, dig deep in your mind para maka, maka-release ka pa ng isa pang personality na Pit-pit mo naman mula pagkabata pa pero hindi mo masyadong ginagamit kasi kilala ka ng mga tao bilang mahilig magpatawa. Ayan, si Pepe, ano yan? Uh, walang masamang tinapa yan. Pero inisip ko na pala na sa amin mga mangyaring masama sa'yo. Hindi, yun lang. Hindi, yun. De, yun. So, uh, ang saya na kung ano yung karaniwang pagkakakilala sa'yo ng mga tao, binabasag ng mga directors namin. At nagbigay ka pa ng ibang layer or ibang pagkatao. Yun. Kasi gano'n naman talaga sa totoong buhay, we are uh, three-dimensional creatures or maybe four-dimensional minsan. Kaya ang ganda na pinapakita natin kung ano talaga yung nangyayari sa totoong buhay. Yun po. Ayun lang. Nasagot ba yun yung tanong mo? Yes. Hindi. Di, uh, Mas three-dimensional na Pepe ang makikita dito. Okay. Ito nga kasi. Okay na ba yun? Okay. Meron ko na dyan ang ID? Yes, oo nga. Pero very daring talaga ngayon si Pepe. Kita naman natin sa kanyang ano, uh, outfit. Yes. Speaking of daring, mapunta naman tayo ngayon Mr. Jake Poynka. Mayroon tayong question from social media. Since you have a lot of action series and movies, how does this series challenge you? Wow. Uh, thank you, social media, for the question. <laughs> no, actually, yung paggumawa ng action and star creatives, um, in general, like, um, <clears throat> tulad nga ang sabi ng chart, parang it's a modern take eh. Parang iba yung, kumbaga, sina, sina Direct Lester, um, they really challenge themselves kung paano nila papagandahin lalo yung eksena. And then in terms of acting, ito na, ito yung in-expect ko sa star creatives. Na it's a challenge nila ako to give something different, um, another transformation. Tulad nga sabi ni ni Pepe, um, three-dimensional yung characters namin dito. So, you have to, ano, you have to play with the lines of, we have to play with the colors of gray. Kasi pwede kang maging masama in one moment, pwede kang maging mabait in one moment. But certainly, um, ito yung in-expect ko from star creatives and I'm enjoying every, lahat ng taping, lahat ng um, shooting days namin. Na-enjoy ako kasi natya-challenge ako. So, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity and um, salamat siyang this for, for, ano, for giving me this role. So definitely, hindi ito yung usual na Jake Wendt ang nakikita natin, napapanood natin. Very different from yeah. you offer. Yeah, iba, iba. Iba talaga. Tsaka ano eh, um, pagdating sa star, pagdating sa star creatives, you know, pagdating sa, sa shots, sa coverage, yes. even sa action scenes, kailangan talaga guwapo at maganda pa din lahat. And that's a challenge. Kasi syempre, pag nagpa-fight kayo, may intensity and you have to make faces. But for them, that's the challenge. Na parang kailangan, sobrang galing nyo dito na pag nagpa-fight kayo, wala lang sa inyo lahat to. So that's that's the challenge here. Dapat no sweat. Yeah, wala, bawal pa wisan dito. Oh, oh. Okay, sa'yo, uh, Jaiho, meron pa? Ang dami. Okay, go. Dito. Si Emil Busel of KB, KBEX Official. For Miss Dimples Roman, sabi niya, Anong meron sa character mo na tinanggap mo ang role knowing na sa Cebu ang location at bagong dating si Baby L1 Manola sa buhay ka ni Kanye Boyen? I just can't say no to Sinanaydes. Whenever Star Creatives would give me something, like a role, I trust them so much in the sense that even when I can't see the full staircase, I actually start with the first few steps. This is how I decided also on taking Babaylan Gloria for Bagani. Because at that time, if I remember correctly, when they presented it to me, it was so nice. I said yes to it. Kahit alam ko, two weeks, mamamatay na siya. Mamamatay dapat si Babaylan Gloria agad eh. 
hindi siya matagal. But for some reason, every time that I take on a character under Star Creatives, there's always magic. Parang there's something different comes along and I get to discover something from within me na kaya ko pala yung gawin. At bilang artista, I'm sure Jake will know this because hari ng transformations yan si Jake, na merong mga bagay na pag in-offer sa'yo, parang hindi mo pwedeng hindi ka. Ito yun. Celine offers a very different kind of vehicles na hindi ko pa nagawa ever. Kasi again, it's a fight scene siya dito. And this time, she's fighting as um, as a person and not really as a fictional character. Correct? Yan. So, very excited ako doon. Tao siya talagang lumalapan. And siguro, the fighter in me also came about when I gave birth to Ilio. I always talk about it. Parang may tapang na dala yung bunso ko sa akin. So, nung in-offer yung Celine na character, sabi ko, ay, sakto. Siguro, either nagkaramdaman kami nila Nanay Des na ito yung next step after Danny, after Babaylan, Celine with, after Kakay, because Kakay was also dramatic naman and very heavy. And also, Kakay, I'm very grateful to RCD as well, I just mentioned, because with that, I won regional for Asian Academy. I fly in, uh, on this, uh, in December, Singapore, along with Mr. Pepe over here, who's also a regional winner for, what's his uh, best? May Papa P naman. So, magkakasama kami. So, imagine all those rock stars of characters like Kakayo Viral and Danny and Babaylan. I, I needed a character that was also just as strong, if not stronger. And I think, Celine yun. Kaya kahit medyo malayo, the struggle is real. Kaya pag uwi ko, ano na lang, kinakantaan ko na si Iyo. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know may kanta-kanta kami ni Iyo. Doon na lang ako bumabawi. Thank you, Ana Diaz. Maraming maraming salamat. My next question lang for Mr. Baron Tanisman. Ayan, galing naman ito kay Jeffrey Olila Garcia ng Jeff Oligard TV. Sabi niya dito, Sir Baron, ano po ang pagkakaiba ng magiging role ninyo sa Iron Heart sa mga dati niyo pong ginapan ng role? Kami po bang mga viewers ay maawa o patuloy kami, patuloy ka namin kainisan sa role mo? Actually, pinali po nila eh. Dami ko pong crying scenes dito. Wala masyadong acting. Actually, it's hard to answer that question. Siguro I'll pass it over to Sir Jay, no? Kasi ang nangyari po, special guest lang po ako. And eventually, natuwa po sa akin yung Star Creatives. And... I'm praying na maging totoo nga, na maging recurring cast po ako dito sa show na ito. And thank you rin kay Richard dahil lagi akong, kasi tagasibo po ako eh. So, sinasabi ko kay Richard, uh, eh, magandang chemistry namin. Um, off and on camera, ang saya namin. So, sinasabi ko, Rich, alam mo, taga dito ako, so it would be easier for me to shoot here sa Cebu. And sabi niya, sige, sige, kakao ko sa akin. Eventually nga, yun, Nagkaroon nga ng ganong klaseng agreement, but uh, Sir Jay? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, siguro to answer kung in terms of yung character ni Baron, and also actually not just Baron's character, but everyone. Kasi parang, parang when you look at the cast, it's like, it's a different kind of combination. And we are so excited to work with all of them. So parang kasi dito project na to, parang pag tinitingnan namin siya, parang fun siya talaga for us. Kasi parang we're, here are these characters and these are players in a game, almost. So parang we, when you look, when you, when you find, when you find an actor to play a role, parang particularly for this project, you're looking for who is the best player. Parang they, they are almost like in a game. So she's the perfect Celine. She is the perfect Jazz. She is the perfect Nix. These characters, we said that they're parang randomly selected. So parang they they are they bring to the table something exciting. And when you see to see them together, acting and 
playing the roles and being who they are, talagang, ah, siya, this character can go, like, far. She is de- delivering something new. Kasi kapag kunyari, when you look at it, ah, okay, so what's new for, ano, Dimples? Or what's new for, ano, parang hindi naman ganun, kasi parang nakikita mo talaga na parang, ah, she is, she embodies this character. Kanina when they're talking about Cebu, why Cebu? Kasi parang, we, we, were, we were brainstorming on Cebu to us, in some perfect ways, like the best playground. If they are the best actors, the characters, players of this game, Cebu is the best playground to do this show. You have pristine beaches, you have the longest bridge, you have high-rise ano, uh, buildings in one town. Kaya parang talagang parang isa talagang parang so what's kapag when, when we were brainstorming on so who's going to fight who next sequence so who's na, who's going to battle who's going to die or who's going to whatever so and daming pwedeng mangyari so when we are brainstorming it you're not kape sa creative para sa sabi namin let's just have fun with this show Kasi parang with it could be very serious for others. I came from a very serious show, yung A Family Affair. That's very dramatic. And here is like a fun show. I am we're all excited to do with all of these amazing actors. Thank you, Sir Jay. Thank you, Baron. PJ Ai. Yes, meron tayong katawagin, a friend from the media here with us, Alex Brosas. Uh, where are you? Hi, Hi Leah. Ay, hello po. Can you ask your question? Hello, yeah, Paul. to... Uh, hello. To Richard, to Sue, to Baron, to Jake, and to Maha. At what instance will you flex your iron heart? Mm-hmm. Should I go ahead? Uh, yes, you can, Sue. Okay, ako... I flex, I will flex my iron heart all the time. Um, ang iron heart yun nga, yung maganda rin yung tanong kanina. I think yung iron heart hindi lang siya something na pinatatag ng panahon. Something din siya na kailangan ingatan. Kasi ang iron nagde-develop ng panawang. Alam mo yun? So we have to also take care of what we built. So yung puso na matibay, binuo natin yun sa sarili natin. So kailangan din natin siya ingatan. So ako... I will always wear my iron heart on my sleeve for everybody to see. And it's the most, I think the iron heart is the most sincere heart. So I'm asking what instance? I, I said all the time. Uh, all the time? And I said all the time. Okay. Baron? I think uh, I'll be flexing that every time um do marathon in my temptations for me to <clears throat> bring out that iron heart to say. No, I had enough. No. Self care. I respect myself. I respect you. And I love you. Okay. Uh, Jake? When, at what point would I flex my iron heart? I think I, I, I agree with you, know, with Sue. I wear, my, uh, I wear my heart on my sleeves. I wear my emotions on my sleeves. As you know, I'm oh, very transparent now as a person. And I'm proud of my pain. I'm proud of what I've been through. So I wear my heart on my sleeves. Kumbaga, I flex my experiences every day. That's what that's what I have. That's the only thing I kaya ko nung pagmalaki as an actor. That my emotions and my experiences and my choices. So every time I present myself as an actor, I present the Iron Heart. Maha? Ako po, flex ko yung Iron Heart ko. Depende sa sitwasyon, sa tao. Magde-depende doon. Kapag kailangan ko ilabas yung Iron Heart, lalabas yan. Kasi ako, pusong mamon talaga. So... Yan, parang ko ano yung character ko dito sa sa Iron Heart. Um, kung gaano kalakas si Apollo, isa ako sa mga kahinaan niya. Richard? Um, ako, I flex my Iron Heart when needed. Um, but I will flex it any day, any day for my family. And for my loved ones, um, but ako yun nga, um, I don't always flex my iron heart, but when I flex it, I mean it. 
uh, to Richard and Sue again. Uh, you are you were remarkably good in your previous assignments. Sue for a broken marriage vow and Richard for uh, Ang Provinciana. Uh, taking the roles that you played here, that you play here, uh, will that be modern enough to erase whatever uh, traces of your character in your previous roles? Ako po, I would like to say that I have no intention in erasing um, whatever I did in the past because it's a part of me now and it's a part of who I am. But definitely, I will give them something new. We will give them something new and something to watch out for, something na aabangan po nila, and something na may excite silang panoodin. So, um, yun na, I don't have an intention of erasing, but I have an intention of adding to the list of good roles that I have been doing the past couple of years. Thank you, Richard. The same. Uh, malayong malayo yung portrayal of characters ko uh, as Lito in Provinciano. Um, totally different, like opposite side of the spectrum in terms of characterization. And yun nga, um, with the help of my directors, the creative team, of course, the cast members that are with me here, um, we were able to develop a different character in the polo na feeling ko magmamarka sa mga tao rin. Differently ko paano magmarka si Lito Valmore. Yeah. Last question for the creative. Uh, my friend Alvin Ignacio noticed that the characters' names were either Greek or Roman. Uh, why is that so? Uh, when we were thinking of the characters talaga, parang inisip namin like gods playing with uh, faith, with strength, with some, uh, some something uh, mortal and immortal. Parang ganun yung, yung themes din talaga ng palabas. Kaya parang inisip namin, what if we ano, uh, get inspiration from mythology to, to name these characters para may unifying element din. And in a way also, kasi parang Pero sa, sa storytelling na rin naman to, na parang alam mo na parang it's real but it's also kind of not real, sobrang real. Kasi parang may, may pagka-hyper-real in a sense. Kasi parang they are almost mythical characters. So that's the reason why we, ano, we, we base them on gods. Mostly gods and goddesses. Did that put your credibility in a thread? In a hanging thread? Because parang you're promoting parang mga uh, Greek gods and goddesses tapos uh, Filipino flavor yung story. Uh, hindi naman, kasi parang iisip naman namin na these characters are universal. So in a way, we gave, we give them reference. But it's also part of, din naman of, of our participation in a global, in a way, in a global uh, story, um, storytelling. Na parang when we situate our stories, it's not just a local thing. This is not just for the Filipino yeah. in the Philippines. Parang yeah. we see this as something that could reach global audiences. Yeah, and so that's why we are not afraid to do that for this show. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much.